Hi, now I've got a question here where it tells us that x equals 3 tan 2y and we've got to find dy by dx in terms of x. And you'll notice it looks unusual in as much that it starts with x rather than y. Well you might like to give this a go or if you have tried this and are having problems then the work solution will appear in a few moments. But as I say if you'd like to have a go just uh, give you time to pause the video. Okay well let's see how you might have got on with this one. Well as I said earlier normally we get questions where it starts y equals instead of x equals. and it's no good really us trying to make y the subject here. No, what we've got to do is work off this principle that dy by dx is exactly the same as 1 divided by dx by dy. This is a fairly standard result that uh, you should try and learn. Now in that case that means then that we just need to head towards finding dx by dy first of all. So we start off with x equaling 3 tan 2y and therefore to get dx by dy we differentiate 3 tan 2y with respect to y. So we're going to have the 3 multiplied by the differential of tan 2y. And to differentiate tan 2y we need to use the chain rule. Differentiating this would give us sec squared of 2y and then we multiply this, and I need to put that in brackets, we multiply this by the differential of 2y which is going to be 2. Now this part, the chain rule part, might be a problem for some of you. What I'll do is I'll explain how I did that at the end of the video, alright? So uh, rather than hanging around at this stage. So we've got this, all we need to do is just tidy it up and that's going to give us 3 times the 2 is 6, 6x six squared 2y. Now I've got to express dy dx in terms of x. At the moment I've got dx dy in terms of y, so I need to get this across to x. Okay, now how, do I, how am I going to do that? Well, we should be familiar with a basic identity. That identity is a trigonometric identity that says that 1 plus tan squared of a particular angle, let's say theta, is identical to sec squared theta. So it's this identity that I'm going to pull upon in this next section. This is an identity as I say you should be familiar with. So for sec squared 2y it's like I'm making theta 2y. Sec squared 2y must be the same as 1 plus tan squared 2y. So we've got here 6 multiplied by 1 plus tan squared 2y. Okay? Now what I want to do is pick up on this part here. I can see that from here, okay, tan 2y must be equal to x divided by 3. So I can put that in here. So we've got this equals 6 multiply by, and I'm going to put that in square brackets because I can see that I'm going to have brackets within brackets at this stage. Tan of 2y is x over 3, so I've got x over 3 here and that is all squared. Okay, so if I just clean this up I've got 6 multiplied by 1 plus x squared over 9. And I could put this all over one common denominator. And that would be 9. I've got the 6 there. And then for the bracket here, I could just put that over 9. And then I'm going to have 9 here plus x squared. And so we'll just put that in brackets like that. 
Now can you see that I can reduce the 6 and the 9 down because 3 goes into both of these two terms. 3 goes into the 6 twice and 3 goes into the 9 three times. So if I just come down here, what we've now got is that dx by dy, therefore dx by dy, equals 2 times 9 plus x squared all over 3. Now that I've got this one term here, it's easy to just get dy by dx because according to this rule it's going to be 1 over dx dy and that just really means that all I've got to do to my fraction is invert it. So I've got 3 over 2 multiplied by 9 plus x squared. Okay, so uh, hopefully that gives you an idea how we can go about that. Now I did say that I'd show you how to differentiate tan 2y, how I got this answer so immediately. It's done by the chain rule and uh, if we just come down here, the chain rule is essentially that if I'm going to find say dz, let's say by dy, it's exactly the same as dz by d something as long as I multiply by the same d something over dy. So let's suppose I call this dt. Put a dt up there, it's as if those two dt's cancel. So if I let say z equal tan 2y and I want to differentiate this with respect to y, what I've got here is if I was to say t equals the 2y, then z must be equal to the tan of t. So therefore dz by dy must equal dz by dt first of all. So if I differentiate tan t with respect to t, it's going to be sec squared t. But I know what t is. It's 2y, so I'm just going to put that in there. So that is dz by dt, and now I multiply it by dt dy. t equal 2y, so if I differentiate t with respect to y, I get just simply the 2. So I multiply that with the 2. And that's how I got this part here. Okay? So I hope this gives you an idea then if you had problems on this question. And uh, if you got it right, well, well done. That's very good. Okay.